Days without hope. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I am Jesse. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Today's video is what's for dinner. It's a little different than most of my what's for dinners. Um, I was sick last week, so I didn't have um, any videos that I really filmed food wise, except for I did on Monday film um, crock pot orange chicken for you guys. It's not actually my recipe. I got it online on Pinterest. It was starships in laser beams, I believe. Um, no, spaceships in laser beams. I will leave the link down below for you guys um, in the description box if you wanna go check it out. Um, but yeah, guys, this dish is actually really good. Um, one tip I will give you, um, go a little light on the red pepper flakes or don't put it in there if you don't like spicy stuff because it was pretty spicy, um, which we don't mind spice around here, but I know a lot of people don't like spice. So if you don't like spice, I would leave that out. Um, I would put a little more orange juice in it too if I was gonna redo it um, because they say use orange marmalade. We don't like orange marmalade, so that's why I did orange juice. And I would just put a little bit more of that in there to get a little more of the orange flavor. But guys, it was really, really good. So it's definitely worth trying out. Anyways, guys, let's okay, get to so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna cut up some chicken for your orange chicken. I just have some boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I had thawed them out in the fridge overnight. I'm just gonna go ahead ahead and cut these up into little bite-sized chunks. So now I'm gonna have my crock pot, I'm gonna turn it on low. I'm gonna take some cooking spray. I'm gonna spray my crock pot. You could use a crock pot liner. If you have one of those, definitely at least spray your crock pot. I'm gonna go ahead and take all our diced up chicken thigh and we're gonna go ahead and drop it into the crock pot. All right guys, now in a bowl we're gonna stir. They're using orange marmalade in theirs. So I am not a fan of orange marmalade. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some orange juice instead. Sometimes with the marmalade, I feel like you get like the bitter pieces of orange peel in it, and I just don't like it, neither does Jeffrey. So I'm gonna put half a cup of orange juice in here. Need one fourth cup of ketchup. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use my half a cup and only do it halfway and then I'll be a fourth a cup. Perfect. And then we need to put some brown sugar in. It says one tablespoon of brown sugar. Um, where I'm not using the marmalade, and marmalades I feel like are a little sweeter than orange juice, I'm gonna go ahead and put two tablespoons. I have a half tablespoon, so I'm gonna do four of those. And then a tablespoon of rice wine vinegar. I have rice wine vinegar with garlic, so that's what I'm gonna use. And it says one tablespoon of that, so two half tablespoons. One, there's two. And then it says three tablespoons of soy sauce. Mm. I am using the Kikoman gluten-free soy sauce. If you're not gluten-free, go ahead and use regular soy sauce. And I need three tablespoons of that. So there's one, two, and three. We need half a teaspoon of ground ginger. You could use fresh ginger too, I'm sure. I think they have the in the recipe. So I'm gonna use half of the tablespoon. And then it says one fourth teaspoon of crushed red pepper flake. I'm just gonna put a little dash in there. <laughs> pour this. Again. I'll just mix it around a little bit. 
I'm gonna leave this on low for four hours and I will be back. All right, I'm out of my element here. I'm filming this part for Jesse. She is at Dance with Rowan and wanted me to finish it up. So based off her instructions, I have mixed together, ooh, that looks delicious. I have mixed together one fourth cup of water and two tablespoons of cornstarch until it was completely mixed together. And now I'm supposed to stir this bad boy in here. And then after that, I'm supposed to turn it up to high for the last 10 minutes. So that it boils and thickens up the sauce into even more deliciousness. I've been wanting to do this all day. I have a problem with stirring things and opening crock pots and ovens and Jesse hates it and I don't blame her. And I've been fighting the urge to do just that right there all day. All right, so switch it to high, put the top back on and let it cook for another 10 minutes and then we'll be all ready to go to serve it over rice. Guys, uh, it looks fantastic. Jeffrey did a great job. I will show you when everything is all plated up. All right guys, here it is all finished. Looking so delicious. Um, I actually did try this already and it is so good. I feel like I wanna put a little bit more orange juice in it though next time because it doesn't have a strong of an orange taste, which of course I didn't use the marmalade. Um, but guys, it is really good. Um, anyways, this right, dinner so much for coming along with me today. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you try this recipe. It was really good. Also, let's give Jeffrey a round of applause for being such a trooper, for filming that little part for me while I was taking Rowan to the end. So that was so sweet of him. Anyways, guys, give this video a big thumbs up, press that like button, subscribe to my channel, and click that little notification bell button so you're notified every time I post a new video. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. It's time.